Hello and welcome to the Tarot Cottage. My name is Amy. I'm back with a pick a card reading for you today. Um, a big welcome to my beautiful returning subscribers. Thank you guys so much for being here and thank you so much for your beautiful comments below my readings. I am waiting to hear back from a couple, actually a couple of my most recent winners. So be sure to check your notification bells. If you have posted a comment below my channel, um, be sure to hit your notification bell if you do so because that's an automatic entry for a free reading for me or from me rather. So if you found yourself here for the very first time and you would like to be entered for a chance to win a free reading all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel hit your notification bell and drop me a comment below and i will enter you in for a chance to win and if you're chosen the winner i will notify you via the comment section but i give you lots of clear indications on how to reach out to me to get the ball rolling so if you've left a comment be sure to check your notifications because i'm waiting to hear back from my most recent winners and there's a couple of you actually that i'm waiting to hear back from so be sure to do that and if you have found yourself here for the very first time we want to welcome you here please join us, pull up a chair. We're gonna get cozy, we're gonna have a little chat because we're all friends when we gather around this table. And I like to make this a space where we all just feel like we're walking each other home. We're all dealing with the th same themes and issues as spiritual beings having the human experience. And so we're all here to just support each other. Um, but for today's pile or today's pick a card reading topic, we're looking at messages from your future self from your higher self and some big changes that they say you don't you don't even see coming towards you at this time so you are perhaps sitting in a rut in life or maybe you're anxious about the future but this is a message from your higher self from the version of you that has already lived this experience and they have some messages about some big changes you don't see coming that are coming in for you so we have three piles to choose from here we have pile number one with the i think it's a yellow jasper with the moon child Pile number two with the white sage and the amber. And pile number three with the psyche card and the clear quartz. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, there's a message waiting from your higher self today and my timestamps are listed below. I'm gonna jump into pile number one. Again, today's topic is all about a message from your higher self about some huge changes, some big blessings or changes that are coming in that you do not see coming. Pile number one. Hello, pile number one, you are drawn to the yellow jasper or to the moon child and this is your reading. What big changes do you not see coming? What message from your higher self do they have for you today? The moon child here is all about preparing for changes in your life. There's Scorpio and Cancer energy that's coming through for me right now. And you can see she's got these two big, big, beautiful red roses here on the side of her hair and I'm getting the essence of the two of pentacles so maybe you don't even feel ready for these changes maybe you are afraid of change a little bit we're all really anxious when it comes to changes in our life even though change is the only constant we can rely on we get anxious about it so you may not be prepared or think that you're prepared for the changes in your life that your higher self says are coming in for you but they're asking you to prepare for that for these changes now again you may be a moon child you could be perhaps that water energy but they also want to establish that you have something exciting waiting for you, something more expansive that's going to push you outside of the comfort zone that you think that you want to be a part of right now. So prepare for those changes. They're also asking you to trust in your intuition to guide you through these gateways that are coming in as well. And that she's going, she or he is, is going to be there guiding you through that change. So not to fear what's coming. That's what they want you to understand. They want a new outlook from you when it comes to where you're sitting in life and what you're expecting in the future. You have the Queen of Swords. A message from your higher self. What are the big changes you don't see coming? The Six of Swords. And I just heard it's time. It's time. Even her here hoops on her ears look like almost teardrops to me. It's like it's time to move out of whatever cycle you're in. Oh, ten of Wands coming out, flipped over. And it's interesting because the Ten of Wands has this fear of the unknown and it flipped over. It didn't even want to reveal itself. And so there is a message coming through about your profound fear of change coming in. And maybe this profound fear comes from a fear of detaching from whatever it is you need to change from. This could be a person, this could be a perspective, this could be a job. I feel like for someone watching, you're physically gonna be moving. 
And it's your higher self here that's in charge of this reading. I often look at the Six of Swords as a very strong collaboration of communication between Source, between our higher selves, between other people. And this is your higher self who's acknowledging your inner child, who's acknowledging where you're sitting right now. So maybe feeling a little bit helpless, maybe feeling overlooked, maybe feeling like the universe doesn't have your back in some way, your guides don't have your back in some way. But this is your higher self saying that you can't see clearly now but they see clearly where they are at and they're helping you to create that transition. They're helping to get you to that shore of clarity. So not to fear what this is going to bring for you because it's going to empower you and everything that you've been through up to this point is meant to empower you as well. We have the divine masculine energy. We have the eight of cups coming out with that as well. Back of the deck is the queen of pentacles and the ace of cups. So I do feel like there's going to be some physical movement coming in for the Divine Feminine. And I, I say Divine Feminine for ease of execution. You could be the Divine Masculine and be watching this video. It's all about energy. It has nothing to do with, with gender. You know, they're really speaking about an emotional change, tapping into Divine Feminine energy. And actually, they're actually talking about tapping into both the yin and the yang because we need both of those aspects to, to execute this change. They don't want you to fear what the travel is going to bring you. It's going to empower you in some type of way. So they want to assure you of that, that the empowerment is coming. Now, because I'm dealing with the collective energy, I do have different messages that are coming in for people. We have the judgment coming out with the page of wands. Your higher self says that you've been holding back from executing this change. This is a change that perhaps you're going to execute yourself by claiming some type of independence from a realm that's no longer serving you. We have the devil. And they say that whatever is holding us back, whether it be fear, whether it be someone, whether it be something practical, whether it's a combination of all of those things, they're just perceptions. And we need to get a new outlook. And they're also saying that you've been sort of triggered by this movement or by this desire for movement or severance or clarity for some time but maybe you've been afraid to execute or afraid to really pull the trigger because you've been delaying they say delaying this progression and they your higher self wants you to know that they've been patiently waiting that they're not trying to wag a finger at you they've been patiently waiting here but they also want you to acknowledge that because you're a spiritual being having the human experience, that human experience has a limitation in timing, has a limitation in opportunities. And so they're saying that we have now come to the time where it's time to walk away to empower yourself. And this could be, walk again, walking away from whatever is limiting you right now. So please take it as it resonates to your situation. This could be a career move. This could be a, a relationship move. Either way, they want you to know that it's empowering you. It's bringing you in more peace in the future. It's bringing you deeper connections. It's bringing you in perhaps commitment cycles, but new fresh perspectives. And there's the celebration. And there's the three of wands, so much expansion. That's what your higher self wants you to know. You have no idea what's waiting for you beyond this unknown because you're so afraid to execute it. But they also, there's such a beautiful level of trust because your higher self has already gone through this process, you can trust in their guide, their guidance, in their leadership. And they ultimately trust you because you're the one that got your inner child through that, that thicket, through the past, through the difficulties of the past. We have the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're physically moving along with all of this change. So they want you to understand that that's part of this process. And that's sometimes part of the biggest hurdle for us is like, how am I going to execute this change? How am I going to arrange everything in the practical realm? How am I going to afford this? How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? And your higher self says, don't worry about the how to's. Your pathway is going to be revealed to you with every step that you take. And with every step that you take, you're going to feel stronger and more resolved with the decision that you made. It's like you need to trust in your intuition more to guide you. And there's the seven of wands back. And this, this seven of wands is supporting the, the emperor here and the eight of pentacles or the eight of cups. We have the king of wands and we have the three of cups. Celebration is so near for you, pile one. They're talking about changes that you're going to see in the physical form in three months time. Three months time. There's expansion. They're talking about this move for you. Again, a physical move in a career, physically with your home. 
is going to create more abundance and more empowerment for you in emotional realm. So deeper connections, more fun in your connections and meeting people that are very different from yourself that you haven't experienced in the past, but are kind of like your people, the place where you feel like you belong, the place where you feel like you can breathe easy. And that's why they feel like all of this movement is necessary and important and has to be executed ultimately. But I feel like the divine feminine is going to be at the helm of this, of this movement. And, and your higher self says, I've got this, you've got this, we can do this. Don't fear the unknown. You're in for upgrades. In all areas of your life, you're in for upgrades. So if you're walking away from a job that you know is triggering you, if you're walking away from a romantic relationship that's triggering you, or if you're walking away from a perspective that's limiting, this perspective of like, I don't deserve abundance or I'm overlooked by the universe, I've been ignored and this is the way it's always going to be, your higher self is saying, get ready to prepare to explore brand new realms. You're being called. It's like you're being called down for the price is right. You're being called down. Back of the deck, again, three of cups. Three of cups, celebration is so near for you, Pow One. What changes do they not see coming, please? And this is from, oops, from your higher self, the transformation, the butterfly spirit. Number eight, I do feel like this could have a huge movement in your work realm. Again, you're transitioning, you're physically moving. You could be moving to a new career, for instance, or a new position within an already present career. And there's a lot of fear of that. There's a lot, I, I think, to do as well. There's a lot of practical steps that you're going to have to take. But every step that you take is getting you closer and closer to your empowerment and getting closer and closer to fueling the thirst that you feel like is inside of you. There's a restlessness that you feel right now. It's going to, it's going to create a solution for that. They also want you to know that you're capable, you're smart. There's like a leadership quality surrounding you. So you could be moving into a leadership role in your work realm because I really feel like you're standing in your own independence and feeling really confident and it's going to connect you with other people that are in that mindset again it connects you to people that are right on the same wavelength as you we have family as well what i love about this message is that in this empowerment that your higher self is speaking of is also speaking about multiple blessings that are gonna come down as a trickle effect or as a domino effect for you down the line. And what's beautiful about the Queen of Pentacles is this little rabbit, let me try to move him, this little rabbit at the bottom of the card indicates fertility for you. So if this is something that is a goal for you, and that may not be a goal for everyone watching, but if it is a goal for you to have a family, to find security, to find financial and physical security, Spirit says you're gonna find that. There's divine masculine energy in your future as well that your higher self wants to anticipate. And we have stability. That's ultimately what they want you to understand that you're moving towards. All of this movement for you is so necessary so that you can find fulfillment. So you can find empowerment in your position. And you're going to find stability within yourself, within your career, within your romantic prospects, within your friendships. All in the same breath. They're even talking about relationships that last forever. So maybe you're moving away from an old relationship and towards a, a more abundant relationship, but relationships that will last forever. Message please from your higher self, what you don't see coming in the future. New emotional starts and peace and celebration and sort of a new perspective over the helplessness that you have previously felt. A moment's joy, sand through the hourglass, yet time could stand still. A moment lasts forever in the bliss of the heart's will. And you're going to have moments like that in the future where you're just like, I don't want this day to end, or I just don't want this moment to end because I'm feeling so connected and I'm feeling so excited and I'm feeling so abundant about the future. There's this new fire that's being lit inside of you. We also have here, and there's my light just went out. So one of my lights went out, but the other two are burning strong. Hummingbird song, nectar of sweetness and joy it brings. The hummingbird's healing as medicine it sings. Pass this card on. The hummingbird can bridge a gap very quickly. And that's what I feel like. It's, this is a very quick momentum that I'm feeling for you, pile one. I feel like the next three months are integral to all of this change. And that's why your higher self had this profound message for you today was because they wanted to help you anticipate that change to give you the confidence that maybe you need to execute it in the present moment. Because you're bridging a gap very quickly from maybe apathy, boredom, to joy, to abundance, to more experiences. I feel like travel is a part of this or some type of movement is a part of this too. 
But don't forget, the nomadic wanderer lies deep inside, so don't worry about taking a leap now. Don't crawl back and hide. So pushing yourself out of your comfort zone, preparing for changes in your life, and following your intuition to execute that change. So important for you. Ooh. Immerse yourself in artistic and creative expression imagination letting your imagination run wild when it comes to what you want to manifest you don't need to know how the path is going to open up for you you just have to have unwavering faith in yourself and your capabilities and it's time to surrender to who you actually are let go of the control that's been keeping you stagnant it's like controlling our focus they want you to surrender to the momentum that's coming and allow your higher self to guide you over this bridge it's going to require a little bit of courage. It says, ask for what you want. You're tapping into strength. So there's a really strong Leo energy coming forward here. Also Aries, Capricorn is here as well. Um, and you don't have to be any of those signs. It's just talk talking about the energy and the power that you're going to be tapping into. A message please from your higher self. What do you want to see coming in? Power number one. I feel like one chapter is closing and another is opening up, opening up for you. We're coming to the end of the cycle here. We do have, yep, broomstick clearance. It's time to make clearance for growth. And you're going to revel in the results, prosperity in all forms, pile one. Prosperity in all forms. I'm seeing security in coin. I'm seeing new emotional beginnings. I'm seeing new friendships. I'm seeing new connections. I'm seeing empowerment for you. So do not fear what travel is bringing you. Victory. I love it. Your prayers have been heard and answered. It's time to have some faith. Mostly having faith in yourself. That's what your higher self is asking for. It's like have faith in me. The same sort of faith that your inner child now who looks to you in your current position and says, wow, you got me through that tough cycle. That's the same faith that your higher self is asking from you in the, in the present moment because you're already overcoming all those difficulties. The worst is behind you. We had the eight of cups. The worst is behind you. You are surmounting any previous challenges. And now the traditional Rider weight has the red cloak. They want to establish that red empowerment that you're going to be experiencing as well. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number one. A message from your higher self. What big changes do you not see coming? In the bowl, nine of cups. It's like, there's the ten of swords. And we have the king of swords sideways. No, the I giggled because the nine of cups is reversed. And there's this feeling of like, I want it now. I don't want to wait. I want, don't want to execute change. I don't want to have to suffer through anything. <laughs> I just want it now in the present moment. Um, but there's also something that we haven't done yet, Spirit says. We haven't exactly moved through the forgiveness cycle, the ending cycles of the Ten of Swords. Um, it's important for us to release some of the baggage, the emotional baggage that we're holding on to as a part of this devil energy to allow this to manifest in physical form, to allow all of this to be executed. Now, here's the King of Swords as well. He's laying in a state of limbo. So you could be asked to cut people, places, and things out of your life that aren't serving you. You could also be asked to really communicate your desires in the environment that you're in. And then I feel like the momentum will take care of itself. It's like we're, we're hesitating. It's like we want everything now, but we're also hesitating to apply the force needed to execute that or to communicate that to the universe. We have attraction. We have U, an H, and we also have an E, Hugh. We have the hammer, I think, of the work realm and persistence and self-sabotage. We also have here the hatchet. So somebody who's not perhaps putting in the effort um, to break free from something. Um, and that's, we are convincing ourselves that we're working on something in the present realm, but we're actually self-sabotaging opportunities and gifts that want to come in. Our guides have been trying to get a hold of us. Your higher self has been trying to give you signs and symbols by triggering the emotions, by, by prompting you to act. But we have here mountains to overcome or we have the triangle. I do think about third party and I think about the lower chakra system. So insecurity. Here's that tree of life. So you may be deciding to chop down an investment at work or at home. And we have a commandment from the Bible that says, honor thy mother and thy father. 
And there's an emphasis on children, on family as well. So please take that as it resonates, pile one. All right, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates with you. If it does, please drop your comment below for a chance to win a free reading. Even if you have to come back to drop your comment, I would love to hear from you. Um, you can also check out my links for Etsy for a personal reading. I do update the shop daily, so if it sells out, they do sell it quickly, but be sure to check back because I do update the shop daily. Um, but I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage, and I hope that you have a beautiful day. Hello, pile number two. You were drawn to the amber or to the white sage, and this is your reading. Uh, what is a message from your higher self? What are some unexpected changes that you can that you do not see coming that are coming in for you. Um, this is a message from your future self. So the white sage here, you can see she's crying. Um, and the white sage for me is all about clearance. You know, we're making clearance for growth. We're, we're getting negative energy out of our hair. We're trying to get it away from our space. Um, but there's still a sadness associated with this. Even her hair, it looks like she's covered in poppies. And the poppies are the symbol of remembrance. And so it's like we're struggling to perhaps create clearance for growth. Because even the amber that you were attracted to, um, I think of that Demi Lovato song where it says, I was your am amber and she was your shade of gold. And so there's this feeling about being ignited inside. But a lot of conflict here um, when it comes to hurdles that you're experiencing and how they're painful hurdles, I feel like, for you, Pile 2. So your higher self wants to acknowledge what is going on with you. They want to acknowledge the pain that you're going through in the present moment. So let's take a look here and see what don't you see coming. A message from your higher self. If you're sitting right now in this energy, conflicted, not feeling empowered, even though I feel like there's just something amazing about your energy, just such a beauty, beautiful energy surrounding you. This, These tears are not indicative of who you are meant to be. And the sage is clearing out and the white energy is supposed to, uh, you know, they could be emphasizing divine masculine energy, conflict within relationships, within present relationships or relationships that you want to see. And how that could be a blockade for you in the present moment that you can't seem to get out of. You can't seem to forget about a person or a situation. Because they're talking about washing your hair. Here's the Four of Cups. Interesting energy because the Four of Cups came in the reversal in the first spread in pile number one. So there could be a message waiting there, but let's see here. A message from your higher self. What don't you see coming towards you? And it's coming in fast. <laughs> it says you don't see it. It's coming in very, very quickly for you. Um, here's the Nine of Wands. The Knight of Swords, the Nine of Wands, the Three of Pentacles. Oh, you don't even see that good luck is on your side, Pile 2. Good luck is so on your side. Your higher self is really trying to, uh, trying to build up your courage to create sort of a last ditch push to get yourself out of a cycle you're in this independent stage and maybe again maybe you're single in this present moment or maybe but you have your eyes on something specific and we're not experiencing it in the present moment that's the problem is there's the disconnect between what we want and what we're being shown but good luck is actually on your side and you don't even realize it we have the four of pentacles back of the deck is the tower and there's the three of swords but they're trying to get your attention your higher self is trying to get your attention today and trying to say that it's time to let this tower fall whatever's been holding your focus whatever you're holding back from maybe it's a person maybe it's a period of life but they're saying it's time now this pain that you're experiencing doesn't have to last forever it can be temporary but we have to be willing to put those swords down even here this angel this white angel has her arms crossed it's like she's just waiting your higher self, your angels are just waiting for you to find the courage to release, to listen to the notes of intuition that they're trying to bring forward for you. Because they've been trying to get your attention for some time, but we're just lost on what we're not receiving, or we're just focused on what we truly, truly want in our heart space right now. But they're trying to offer us something better, a new perspective, a new beginning, love. And that's something you don't see coming is a new foundation that you're going to build. And maybe you can't understand how you could bridge the gap between where you are and where you want to be and feel good about it. But spirit and your higher self is here to, to shake up that belief system in the present moment. Be 
because there's permanent change coming in for you and it's coming in kind of like a train it's coming in fast the knight of swords and it could be a person to be honest with you let's clarify this reading empress energy beautiful with the seven of cups this is supporting the four of cups these are just my supports supporting the knight of swords please clarifying the turn of events you are going to end a very long cycle and for some of you this could be even like almost a 10 year cycle of feeling unsatisfied just feeling restless in your environment and it may not be in love but it may be in love you're just feeling unsatisfied. You were not feeling like you were, you're struggling to see yourself in the version of this beautiful Empress energy. And your higher self is here to offer you that perspective now, that you're not trying to attain that. You're not moving into this perspective. You are the Empress. They're just peeling back that layer in front of you. That you perhaps are feeling like this shadow person, like a former version of yourself, and you're not satisfied with the version of yourself that you're experiencing right now in life and love. But that's what's coming to rectify itself but we can't look backwards and go forwards. It's like communicating the opposite of what we want to the universe. So now's the time spirit says to wash your hair, wash them out of your hair, wash the past out of your hair. The nine of wands is a frustration card where we feel like we're hitting a wall and we don't know how to execute. But when we don't feel like we can execute, we don't have to just keep hitting our head against the wall, thinking that we're going to make waves. Let's take a step back, explore the wall. Take a step back and go inward so you can reflect upon the strength you need to apply. And you don't have to do it alone. That's your higher self. That's your higher self pushing forward. And I love that spirit does that. They did that for pile one too. They put the six of swords in the center of your reading to establish that your higher self is in charge of this message saying, I've been where you are at. I know the force it's going to require to execute this. I know that it's sad. I know that it's painful, but this will be temporary. This mindset that you have will be temporary. Where I'm sitting, you're not going to have this on your mind anymore. Look at the four of pentacles with the book on their head. And I think about princesses that are training, that they're in training to be queens or they're training and they have to walk balanced with this book on their head. And so they're talking about the necessary cycles of pain that we go through to teach us valuable lessons about the soul journey and about, about the human emotion and the realm of that but how we're here to help you get to that distant shore. Your higher self is going to be the one that pushes that boat off of that muddy embankment. It's like, let me carry you to the other side. Have faith in me. And they want you to develop that faith in self. We have the five of swords. They are acknowledging here with the Five of Swords that you don't know how to completely sever and that you're afraid to. You're afraid that maybe there isn't something better waiting for you. You're afraid that your guides are going to disappoint you. You're afraid. But this is not coming from your higher self. This, this is your higher self speaking. This is your ego talking, offering you all of those conflicting ideas, um, negating what your higher self is trying to say to keep you complacent in a, in a mindset of confusion over who you truly are. But you are the empress. You are the emperor. And they're trying to offer you a new perspective. By offering you something new. We have the page of wands. Back to the deck is the sun. The Leo energy. Beautiful. With the two of wands and the moon. They want you to prepare for changes because the desires of your heart are actually coming in. If you're sitting here with the nine of wands, this is where you're headed. The desires of your heart. You're going to be in a very smug position. They're emphasizing divine masculine energy for the divine feminine. I do feel like you could have, there's Aries energy here. There's also really strong air elements. So Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could have somebody coming in that's super, super funny. And it's like this person's coming in and they're going to be confusing you a little bit because you're, you're going to want to resist them. But this is the turn of events in your favor that you've actually been wanting in your heart space, that your higher self feels that you want in your heart, heart space. And they want you to, in the very least, if you don't feel completely ready to just surrender to the opportunity, which is a very good luck. Look at the horseshoe sitting straight up there, just ready to gather abundance. They say at least explore it. Because exploring it, it's going to start to chip away at some of the thirst that you've been feeling. And you're going to start to feel satiated. And you're going to start to feel more whole. And you're going to start to feel excited about the future. And you're going to start planning again. You're going to start to tentatively plan for your abundance. It's like you're afraid to hope. 
because some of the manifestations that you've been trying to um, bring forward haven't come into fruition. And so you're afraid to hope because you're like, well, I've tried to apply my force and focus on something that I really want. But the, what you've been focused on has such resistance attached to it that it perhaps wasn't getting you anywhere. And so now we're progressing forward. We're releasing. We're washing that out of our hair. We're allowing the permanent change and epiphanies to come. We're allowing towers to fall, even though it makes us feel vulnerable, because it's going to empower us. And because we have celebration waiting for you, partnership, celebration, abundance, and somebody who makes us feel safe. They keep poking out the divine masculine energy who's guarding something, who's guarding you. You could have a fire sign and Aries energy coming forward for you, but I also, again, feel for some, it could be an air energy that's coming forward as well. That's a big change you don't see coming. Don't be afraid of this big change, Spirit says. In the very least, explore it. You're coming to sort of a crossroads, but they say that you've put something or some situation or a past energy on a pedestal. It's time to have that pedestal fall. Forget who you are. The conditioning that has operated this conflict for you is going to fall away. Memory no longer defines who you are. The past doesn't define you. You already are the Empress. We're just literally revealing that to you. Some of the belief systems that you have integrated into yourself were established in childhood. We also have here, you are rare and free and there are not many like you. And you don't believe that in the present moment, but that doesn't negate the truth of, of how spirit sees you, how your higher self sees you. You can't go back to yesterday. Be in the present and have the courage with this eagle. It's like, give your cares to the angels. If you're afraid of the future, give your cares to the angels. Let them carry your burdens. Even say to your angels, say to your higher self, I'm going to go all in today. I'm gonna to say yes today. I'm gonna to say yes to change. I'm gonna go exploring. And I, if I worry about anything, I want you to take that worry and transmute it into passion, into momentum, into more. And they will walk with you. Luck is on your side. That horseshoe shone out from the moment I put it down. Luck is actually on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Very strong fire element here. So you could be a fire sign perhaps, or you could have a fire energy that's coming forward for you. But prosperity lies ahead. And communication is key. And they're showing, it says new moon in Gemini. Communication with your higher self and listening to the notes of intuition are so important. They've been trying to communicate with you. They've been trying to get your attention, but your own emotions are blocking out that truth because emotions come like waves and they're very, they work for us if we allow them to work for us, but they've been trying to get your attention. Back of the deck says it's time to hold your vision, but they want an adjustment to that vision because they want it in abundance and not towards the past. And that's where they want the adjustment, is the adjustment to the past. Advice from your higher self, a change you do not see coming. You're coming to the end of a very long cycle. You have here, Lion, ask for what you want. Leo, energy, courage. And your guides, the Nine of Wands is a, is a strength energy. Your guides and your higher self are asking to, for you to tap into that. And discernment, look beyond the immediate appearances appearances of things in this present moment your higher self is asking you for trust asking you to see beyond what you're physically experiencing right now what your the conflict the sadness the disappointment um and kind of holding on to that they want you to look beyond it because what's being revealed to you is is the exact opposite it's the exact opposite of that nine of wands if we have resistance here, we have a go energy with the nine of cups. It's the desires of your heart and wishes coming true, dreams being granted. I just feel like there's going to be a slight adjustment to that wish and dream. But go ahead and just do it, productiveness. Go ahead and just take that leap of faith. Go exploring. And what you find may, may surprise you there. Let's get a doorway card, please, for pile number two. A message from their higher self, what they don't see coming in. 
a distant pr kiss and a prayer flag. I wish of all wishes that you were here through sunlight and rain. I need you near. But we have a one door closes and another opens for you. Let the plans of destiny unravel true. And so this distant energy that you're holding on to or an old attachment that you're holding on to, an old idea, a person, a place or a thing, they're saying that that's laying further and further in the distance from you. And they're not saying that to disappoint, but they're saying they're saying that to prompt that that power or that strength that's required to push through that attachment because as one door closes another one is opening up for you and they're encouraging you to follow that rabbit it's okay to start where you are do not fear what the travel is bringing you my dear the moment is yours begin now here let's get a charm go please for pile number two advice from your higher self in relation to the movement four of wands We ha I just heard arguments in the home. <laughs> it's like maybe are you, maybe you're having arguments in the home or maybe the home is your heart space right now. It's like you're arguing against your own higher self. You're arguing against the truth that resides in that space because it's like we're conflicting. We're battling it out here with the five of wands where there's restlessness and our higher self is trying to communicate to us about that restlessness and about the determination we need to power through the obstacles here. But we're perhaps getting frustrated with our spirit team, getting frustrated with our higher self because we want it to be a little bit more easy. But anything worth worth showing determination for is worth having. In the bowl today, we have IQ. So intelligent. You're so such a smart person. We have you an L, an L, could be initials. We do have the surrender here with the seahorse and it's the black seahorse. It talks about surrendering to an ending, a release, listening to your, your higher self. But here it's a purple crescent moon, which is empowerment. It's our higher self speaking to us through our high priestess, but it was flipped over because they've been trying to get your attention. But here's that big sword, discernment, choice, execution, empowerment, a big wrench in our plans because we weren't listening to intuition, but we also have to sacrifice something with the honeybee in order to achieve the sweet results that your higher self says are waiting for you. But they trust in your discernment to be able to execute that change because your higher self has already done it. All right, pile number two, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates with you. Please drop your comment below if you are interested in winning a free reading with me. Be sure to hit your notification bell if you do so, so that I can notify you if you're chosen the winner. I also offer private readings through Etsy, and that link is below as well. I, I do update the shop daily. It does sell out quickly, but I do up update it every day, so be sure to check back. But I hope that you have a beautiful day, and I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage. Hello, pile number three. You are drawn to the clear quartz. And to the Psyche card, and this is your reading, a message from your higher self. What big changes don't you see coming um, that maybe will take you off guard or catch you off guard in some way? The Psyche card made me think about your intuition and about how you're being spiritually guided right now. Like you may be very intuitive. Maybe you are even some type of healer or some type of uh, maybe like a psychic or somebody who does read tarot or something like that. I just feel like there's this spiritual teacher within you already present like you already use it you're already tapped into it this clear quartz is all about crystal clear intentions and how this psyche is asking you to trust that beautiful intuition to guide you in this next chapter so let's take a look here and see a message from your higher self pile three what don't you see coming what big changes do you not see coming at you at this moment her hair is covered in butterflies this beautiful transformation and there's multiple butterflies it's like you've been through this before you have so many ancient wisdom codes available to you to to access during this period and i feel like you almost feel the momentum coming here's the king of pentacles here's the queen of wands you may already feel this momentum coming We have the Queen of Hedgehogs, the Queen of Pentacles, along with the King of Swords coming out sideways. So we have the King and Queen here. We have the King and Queen as well. We have the Temptation, the Devil. Seven of Wands.
and we have the Fool. Back of the deck, we do have the Ace of Hedgehogs, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Seven of Teacups. The Seven of Cups coming out as well. Let's see if I can put this somewhere where it won't fall over. I might have to move these over completely, so let's do that. Okay, so let's clarify this as we go. Big changes you don't see coming. I feel like the big change that you don't see coming from your higher self right now is the leap of faith that you're going to take. We have the Three of Swords. And they're anticipating as well that this could compete with an already present investment that you've made. The King and Queen of Pentacles, the King and Queen of Hedgehogs here, um, you can see she's sitting on this nest, um, which is talking about potential, talking about opportunity, maybe even children. So maybe you have children, so please take that as it resonates. But there's this, this discrepancy between this King of Pentacles, which seems to be keeping the Divine Feminine waiting, and this King of Swords, which is competing with your present investments right now. So there does feel like there's a temptation that's presently, or if you haven't experienced this yet, it's coming in for you very quickly, a temptation that's going to lead to major change. It's going to compete with attachment energies. It's going to compete with codependencies that you've established. And they're talking about how from the outside, this may look like an act of self-sabotage to people in the outside realm. So if you've invested in another connection, for instance, and you decide to jump ship to a new connection, other people are not going to completely understand your actions, your motives. And your higher self is coming forward to say, you don't really need to worry about other people's opinions. We all do that. That's a part of the human experience, but that's also a part of our challenge here is to detach from what the collective tells us. Because if you don't know who you are, the collective will tell you. They'll be quick to tell you. They say that you've been using an older environment as a bit of a crutch for the practical reasons maybe, but that emotionally speaking and like as far as passion, as far as support, as far as a sense of belonging, that has eluded you. But maybe you've anchored yourself in an environment that is, is now, again, part of a codependency, but you're afraid to transition. You're afraid to do what you've been feeling in your heart space you know you have to do. Afraid to execute something. And so you've been hesitating. Because it's, it's like you're being tempted with the yarrow energy, but yarrow, um, I always think of yarrow when I see that flower. It's the wild carrot, and it's been used traditionally to help pack into wounds so that it stops bleeding. It's got very good um, properties to help blood clotting and things of that nature. So there's this fear about causing pain, causing loss, physically losing things. It's like that's why we're avoiding what we have to do. Because you're afraid of changes in your life. We have the Eight of Wands and we have the Fool. Ooh. And Spirit says it's going to take some vulnerability for you to be able to tap into this. But they are also talking about the big major shifts that you can experience within yourself when you execute that change. They're talking about this stepping stone. And now they're showing me Figaro here behind Alice and she's got a big bow around his neck which is talking about being highly thought of by your spirit team highly thought of by your higher self and knowing that you you have the capacity to follow their intuition and their intuitive steps to execute this change they trust you but they're showing me that scene from Mrs. Doubtfire where Robin Williams is singing Figaro 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 and then they're showing Tweety Bird and Sylvester and they're saying that you're trying to escape something but you feel like it's a risk to escape and your higher self is here to say that your emotional heart will not be satisfied until you execute your change that you that you require to execute. There's a motherhood surrounding this energy though. So I feel like children could be a factor for someone. We have the four of pentacles. the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles reversed. And there's this facet about jealousy coming in as well. It's like feeling jealous or feeling like I'm comparing my journey to other people's in the moment. 
and maybe even anticipating what's going to happen to me if I do execute this change. And so there's a competition between your higher self now and the ego. It's like the devil and the angel on your shoulder trying to compete for the bigger voice in the present moment because you're pontificating about what you think is going to happen for you in the future. And you're really worried about like financial energy, worried about people's opinions. You're just worried about a lot of practical things. And Spirit says that what you're going to receive there is the exact opposite. Maybe you'll have people's opinions that weigh down upon you. But this is an opportunity for you to gain mastery over their opinion. We can't hold other people to the expectations that we have and we should ex other people should hold us to unfamiliar or unnecessary expectations either. It's not your job to jump through the expectations of anyone. No matter who that person is, it's not your job to be who they you want them to be and to fit into that environment. You're moving into a sense of belonging. You're trying to carry yourself towards the desires of your heart, which perhaps you've been keeping yourself waiting from because you're trying to avoid pain or you're trying to avoid hurting people or trying to avoid drama, maybe even. But all of these ramifications, the emotions that you're worried about are very temporary. And that's what your higher self is here to sort of coax you to a new opportunity. The hedgehog is curling up in a ball to protect itself from this opportunity, but your higher self is asking you to seek out more information about it and let the momentum propel you forward. When you feel the prompt, when you feel the momentum to take a leap of faith, take that leap of faith. The back of the deck is the seven of wands, which is talking about determination to power through, but that your higher self will be there to support that momentum. They say that all the dust and the smoke will settle and they see you moving into a very profound period of security and emotional abundance. If we started with the Queen of Wands, which is fire energy, we moved into the Queen of Pentacles, and now we're back in tune with the Queen of Cups and, and aligning ourselves with the desires of our heart space. The Phoenix rising, transformation, transmutation, and that's what your higher self wants to communicate with you today is about taking all of the fear of these worries and transmuting it into force, removing away and taking away the crutches that we've been holding on to in the practical realm and giving in to the desires of our heart. There's a fear of like facing the consequences of our actions. But spirit says you're like this phoenix rising and there's a message surrounding the phoenix rising every 500 years. It's like it's, it's time is limited. Opportunities can be limited. We're not promised tomorrow. We have bear healing. And they want you to understand that all of the, there's an aspect here of boundaries. I think of the mother bear um, and boundaries. And they want you to understand that everyone involved will heal. Every person involved, whether it be a small child, whether it be another partner, everyone will settle. Will, everything will heal. The dust will settle. The smoke will clear. And we do have the eagle spirit, freedom 13 death cycles, rebirths for you. So your higher self wants you to know that the change you don't see coming, in this case, pile three, is your execution of strength and then the results that follow. And the results that follow are not as limiting as you believe that they're going to be. In fact, after all is said and done, they see freedom for you. They see more abundance. They see you gaining the full spectrum over what those limitations were in the first place. A message from your higher self changes you don't see coming in for you pile number three it's time to prioritize focus on your highest priorities and they will help you to get organized and motivated Archangel Metatron Archangel Metatron is responsible for the chakra systems as well clearing and opening up the chakras so again, this is a message about clearance for growth and how you just have to take care of the next chapter the next step They'll show you the way. There's Alice stepping on the stepping stones. They'll show you the way. Lead from the heart space. They'll show you the way. Leadership. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. And maybe you don't want to be the one to execute that change. Maybe there is this feeling about people in the collective telling you that they want to work on it or that they there's self-sabotage energy that I'm feeling coming in here but she's picking up that trumpet because she's already performed the reflection spirit says you've already had the prompt here you you've already are picking up on the notes from your higher self in the present moment you're just delaying the inevitable 
We also have here, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. That you don't, even if you experience upheaval and disappointment, it will be temporary. It will be temporary and your guides are there to help support that, that momentum and that change. Advice for your higher self, please, about big changes you don't see coming in for you. You are safe and protected at all times. The wolf, the guardian. Your higher self wants you to know that they follow you wherever you go. You are, you are them. You are late. You are them. <laughs> of course, they follow you wherever they go. It's like a conjoined twin. And they are protecting you. They want to remind you that you are not this life. You are not this person that you think you are. You are your higher self. You are the awareness that's seeing all of this change happen. It's time to make a decision and it's time to take appropriate action. You've already had the prompts. There's a risk involved with the leap of faith in the future, but there's also a lot of abundance waiting for you too. Clarity, emotional security and support, rebuilding. Free yourself of guilt and shame associated with this change, associated with perhaps hurting other people in the process. Advice for pile number three, please, from their highest self message they don't see coming in changes they don't see coming in. we have a distant wish and a prayer flag which came into pile number two i wish of all wishes that you were here through sunlight and rain i need you near um for some in this spread you may be a divine feminine who has their focus on a very specific new energy a new person a new desire and you really have to tap into confidence to achieve that i feel like this this focus this desire this curiosity gives you the confidence you may need to tap into to execute the change i just saw hummingbird song too which is bridging a gap quickly and how the outcome that you're expect expecting is nowhere near the outcome that spirit sees for you abundance lies in the heart that allows share more than expected and see love coming around so your higher self is indicating that the first step for you is to just create clarity to be clear about your true feelings, your true motives, and then to share that with other people in your life that you feel like will be influenced by this change, which is, uh, you know, a difficult energy in and of itself. It's hard to, to share our truth with others, but that's the very aspect of humanity. We have here a moment's joy through sand through the hourglass, yet time could stand still a moment lasts forever in the bliss of the heart's will. And they want you to, to sink yourself into the present moment because that's where abundance comes in for us is in the present moment. And if, we ha if we're always in the past or in an anticipated future, we aren't present where our gifts can actually come in for us. And so we need to cultivate that practice. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number three. Advice from your higher self in the bowl. Oh, the Nine of Cups coming out for you. Beautiful energy. Seven of Wands. Eight of Swords reversed and the Chariot reversed. Now, the Chariot reversed is this movement that wants to happen but isn't happening. It's like a travel issue right now because we're in this prison that we need to remove ourselves from. Um, but we have to also find the determination and the wherewithal to be able to create that change. And maybe you're wor waiting for the perfect moment or a perfect opportunity or for a reason where you're like pushed to this decision, but spirit says it's going to take a little bit more determination than that. But the results will speak for themselves, pile three. And if you're anticipating this nine of pentacles reversed, you're going to receive the nine of cups in the upright. We have O, we have I, and we have O, and we have J. We do have Scorpio energy and we have the we have the rib cage. I think of the eight of swords and I think about not wanting to express something like I can't breathe. I feel like I'm outgrowing my space. We have here the healing for the divine masculine. So there's an aspect about somebody journeying to wholeness, thinking that maybe will hurt somebody or destroy somebody, but they will journey to wholeness. And we have the divine feminine going down the rabbit hole. So going down this new path of exploration, of freedom, excitement, exploration. Pile number three, that's what I have for you today. I hope it resonates with you. If it does, drop your comment below for a chance to win a free reading with me. I would love to hear from you. Uh, you can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading if you feel called to or for Instagram. But I hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage. And I hope that you have a great day.